Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'd like to uh, share a word with you all that the Lord is strongly putting on my heart. I'm going to title this word, Glorify or Grieve. The Lord is putting this strongly on my heart. When watching videos and even uploading ones myself to share words of warnings, encouragement, correction, devotionals, etc. To see people who claim to be Christian come on to channels in the comment section, I have witnessed people swearing, calling a person accursed and not saved, and multiple other very harsh things that are not worth repeating because of how they believe. I see so many coming on to do rebuke videos, and some are doing this with love and correction to be met with the most vile comments left. I have also seen rebuke videos and find those who are doing them are also not doing it with love. They name call and mock. They believe they are doing the will of God. But this is not his will to name call and shame someone to attack with words. I have also seen so many comment and say, don't mind them. They will never get it. The Lord will handle them. Do we realize that speaking those words, that is what we are claiming? Are we not to speak life? and encouragement, and what about repentance and so forth? Why not say so-and-so or they are not there yet, but we should all pray together that they will see the truth and hear the truth? Weren't we all there at one time? How many of us used to listen to the same people who are now being trashed publicly? We have a responsibility as the children of God to be kind and loving to all, even those who are being deceived. We all have had to go through many different trials and testings. Each and every single one of us has individual relationship with the Lord. Some are further than others. Some are new and fresh. This does not make one better over the other. Again, I will say, we all have been deceived, and none of us have perfect, full understanding. We all can still learn and gain wisdom and knowledge daily. When I see comments made of how right, or sorry, how to write off a person because of their persistence in deception, that speaks a lot to how little we know the heart of our Savior. For isn't it these very people that the Lord sacrificed himself for? I would hope that if I was ever wrong about something, that those so quick to write off someone would not but instead pray for me, that I would get it right and come to the truth. I will never give up on anyone who is lost or deceived. If anything, I will be even more determined through the leading of Holy Spirit to keep putting the truth out there over and over for as long as it takes. To say in a comment, why keep sharing the same thing? Move on. Well, I say this. We keep sharing the salvation we can achieve through Jesus Christ. That has been shared for thousands of years. It's been told over and over. Should we stop preaching Jesus as well? Because it's been said over and over, so move on. What we speak, we bring to life. If we speak to never mind someone move on, then I ask you, 
Would you want anyone to never mind or move on if it was you? Or even a family member or a friend? I can understand when making those comments that is not always the intention. But again, our words are powerful. We speak life or death. We speak salvation or damnation. We speak love or hate. We speak unity or division. So my question to you is, what do you want to speak? The Lord is recording every word we think, every word we write, every word we say. So when you are finally face to face with him, will you be confident or ashamed? Please know that the Lord loves all of us, even those who are lying, deceiving, falsely teaching, and so on. We as the children of God need to step up and stop the nonsense and bickering. Will this continue? Yes. So ask yourself this any time you click on the comment section. Will what I'm going to post glorify the Lord or will it grieve him? I leave you with this. We always must remember that those who are speaking against us now, you and me, all who are trying to warn and share the truth, it may not be today, but tomorrow is another day, that these people will receive the truth and turn away from the deception that is rampant. I have seen so many say that they used to follow false teachers, but the Lord showed them the truth. For some it is sooner, for others it will happen later. So we should never give up on anyone. Nobody is a lost cause. Today they are the enemy. Tomorrow they are my brother or sister. Let's all come together and pray for this every day. And that is all I wanted to share with everyone. I pray you all will have a beautiful day in the Lord. And if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please call on him today. Ask him into your heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. And from then on, have a relationship with him. Talk to him every day. Read the Bible. Read the word. And... Just keep talking to him every day. Give him everything, because that is what he wants from us. You all have a great day. Be blessed, and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.